Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have with me the Harley, one of uh, the best Harleys I think outside. That um, I had no experience riding any Harley, so that's my first Harley. And that was a hardcore Harley. And I'll talk with you about it, how I felt about it, why I didn't enjoy riding it. And that's not a dissing video, it's just my experience. And I'll give you some good thoughts and bad thoughts about it. So let me go around and show you some things that I didn't like. So first of all, the headlight, the headlamp, whatever you want to call it. Weirdest thing ever. It's not fitting this motorcycle, but at some point after riding it and understanding it, I kind of liked it. Don't tell anybody. Um, the looks, it's brown and black and silver and many other colors it's really really big and for some reason it's not coming with a chain it's comes it's coming with a belt yeah motorcycle with a belt losing 20 percent power for what <laughs> but never mind seat kind of nice fuel tank everything is big as a Harley is supposed to be. <clears throat> so just before getting to the technical stuff, let's talk about price and let's talk about looks. I mean, I rode, I, I rode with a friend. We, we've taken the Harley and we've taken the Ducati. The tiny Ducati. Let me zoom in. The 937 version. And there is the Harley one a 1250S. I don't think it's the S, but they said on the side that that's, is the S version. And whenever we parked in an open space and people came to us and talked to us, wow, what a beautiful motorcycle. They didn't talk about the Harley. They spoke about the Ducati. Which, by the way, if you want to see a video, there is a video, in the, uh, um, there is a link in the description. So you're more than welcome to watching it. But what I'm trying to say is, even though it's big and noisy and maybe beautiful or unique, however you want to call it, um, it's a Harley. So it's either way, you're coming to a place where people do like Harley or they don't. And yeah, you get the idea. Price-wise, this monster, where, where I'm from, costs uh, about $60,000. It's a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And you could probably buy where we're from, two of these. But because the taxes are high, taxes, sorry, <laughs> it's a hard thing to buy and to maintain and having one. So if it was cheaper, maybe I could tell more good stuff about it. But for me, nah, I wouldn't buy it. But let's talk technical, shall we? So as I said, the seat is kind of comfy, depends on where you're sitting. And I'll talk about it in a second, but about getting on it. So flat foot on the left, the right foot is in the air, moving it to the right, uh, moving the front. And there you have it. I'm sitting on a motorcycle with my left leg straight, see, and my right leg banded but it's fine i can live with it now about the sitting position i'm 170 centimeters on the good day which means i'm a little bit shorter than that but never mind the seating was horrible during my thousand kilometers while riding it and why do i say horrible so the seat has well as far as as far as as far sorry as far as i'm concerned there are three sitting positions one is the further back which i'm sitting like that and you can see there is a little bit of distance and whenever i'm sitting like that the first the, the furthest seat there is a hand pain everything in the hand and your back has pain because you're sitting so away from the throttle and everything so you're sitting like that instead of sitting like that and it's not the ideal seat position 
but it's okay you can move a little bit forward and then everything feels a little better but then your legs might feel a little bit a little bit cramped because you are becoming a little bit more forward so it's in a way back pain or leg pain and there is the last part which isn't really an option but uh, you can <laughs> do it if you are like me and you can just sit on the tank the fuel tank and once you're sitting on a fuel tank there is no pain it's just that you cannot turn really nice with a motorcycle so what i'm saying is i'm not a tall guy and it wasn't the best experience i had really a bum pains <laughs> hand pains leg pains um it just didn't it for me it, after after the, the thousand kilometers just said to my um, colleague you know what partner sorry i want to take your ducati and i want to ride it for the next thousand kilometers and I said okay let's do it now the funny thing he is shorter by me uh, in about five centimeters and he's um much slimmer than me smaller than me in in in, in, uh, in size wise <laughs> and he really enjoyed riding this motorcycle which is kind of funny because i don't know how how he managed to do it he said it's fun and you can just ride it and yeah so what i'm saying is about the sitting position it's either way you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it and you wanna kill it i wanted to kill it <laughs> the camera was the whole time on the fueling tank so the fuel tank has uh, 11.8 liters which is not a lot for this motorcycle this motorcycle is well above 1000 cc's so it's going to consume fuel like um like a drunk daddy <laughs> and we had to go to a fuel station every 120 to 140 kilometers which is kind of a lot it's like one to ten i i don't like the idea of having this so small tank if it could be a little bit bigger, it would be better, but that's what we, we are dealing with, right? Before opening the motorcycle and talk you through it, I want to say something about the whole um, front cluster. So the front mirrors, some places it's legal, some places it's not legal to lane splitting, but where I'm from, it's, it is legal to lane splitting. And end mirrors, however you want to call it, are the worst because it makes the whole motorcycle much much more bigger than it should be and because that's a harley it's kind of sits low and you're basically hitting cars everywhere if you're not cautious enough so if you're ever getting this motorcycle and 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 i don't know if it's it's original or not just get rid of it put something over here and over here you look a little bit dumb but you'll be able to lane split like a human being <laughs> so let's start from the right on the right we have the throttle the brake over here we have modes you cannot see it working right now but we'll talk to you about it later uh, it's keyless which means if i turn it this to the left you can see it's starting up and everything starts to move and if i'm a neutral or um, the kickstand is off you can start the motorcycle with a clutch so that's the warning lights so if you ever st um, stumble and uh, your motorcycle is stuck you can just press press on it and your whole uh, orange lights will start blinking without stopping beneath that we have the whole area for music so if you uh, want to connect your motorcycle to your phone you can do it easily and then you can just move forward, volume up, volume down, stop, you know the deal. Beneath that, this motorcycle has, um, it, it can know, it knows how much uh, pressure you have in your tires. So if you are fueling, not fueling, if you're adding air <laughs> to, your, to your tires, then just press on it, long press, and just resets your motorcycle's computer to know that you have finally have more um, air in the tires yeah my English is great so over here we have um, um, how you call it assistance so if you're using your, your, your phone and, and your Bluetooth you can just click on it and then you can just you know 
tell your phone uh, or your mate or your motorcycle I just didn't use this feature to you move I don't know and call somebody I, I don't like the idea I don't have I don't like the, the assistance those assistances in the center we have the data cluster it's not the biggest let's see I have a normal watch you see that it's not the biggest but it's not small on the left over here we have high beams uh, okay so let me start from beginning here is if you want you know just blink a few times and you want to let somebody know, somebody know that you want to pass press on it a few times and it'll pass but if you are driving or maybe riding should I say at night you and, and you just want to have high beams all the way you just click on it like that and you have high beams riding all the way so this motorcycle has heated grips if you ever want to use them but because it's July right now you don't want to do it <laughs> it comes also with a cruise control which is basically the thing that saved me from um, throwing this motorcycle out of from the mountain and once I'll show you it in a second once you click on it for a second just there is a green light here on the right and you can see that it's working and once you click on it it just keeps the speed and it's really nice that's another button for the main menu here you can change between the stuff that's the home menu beneath that and that's something that you should use to get used to is the turn signals and the horn okay so let's start it up and go really quick around all the buttons shall we so because it's wireless you're just slipping it and just um, you know moving it to the left and the whole thing just slowed up as you remember there is a mode over here you just click on it and it just changes from mode from from sports mode which you really don't need to rain mode and street or urban mode however you want to call it that's the main one that I've used and it was really nice emergency lights clicking on it they're really nice you can see maybe in the background you can see the, the lights those buttons are working only if you have your phone connected to your motorcycle here is the AI assistance, assistance and that's what we have on the right and now on the left so as I said high beams if you wanna let somebody know that you wanna pass or if you want to keep it always you can just click it like that heated grips I won't press it even for money right now because it's really hot cruise control as I said you just click on it in a few seconds you see it came up and once you are riding and, and, and you just want to keep the same speed just click down and you have speed on the same speed riding until you are either crashing something or pressing the you know stop button now regarding the menus so basically the main thing that you're going to be using if you are on the main menu it's a, either way either way top or button if you want to change between them trip trip a range Temperature, odometer, odometer, you know how much it rode, 3B, and we're back again to the same place. The main menu, which is this one, you just click on it, and then it says whatever you need. So here you have the navigation, you don't have phone connected, so you cannot, you cannot use it. Music again, no phone connected. Motorcycle, diagnostics, and some stuff that just doesn't matter to you at least not while riding I mean um, um, tire pressure temperature um, battery voltage and diagnostics you should not use it while riding <laughs> again I'll click on it and let's go to other menus to the settings here you have general and everything you want to use or check but it's not really useful at least not for me Bluetooth you just click on the Bluetooth and you just add a new phone and you have your phone connected to the motorcycle how fun is that left single signal right signal there you have and a horn <laughs> now before moving forward to the next thing basically the whole cluster i don't think it's um it's not set properly i mean fine you have the speed and you have your rpms you have your gear number everything it's fine but 
I would like to have seeing the temperature and seeing trips and the elevator, everything in the middle screen and not, you know, uh, traveling between menus and, and doing it while writing. I don't get the idea. I don't get the idea. I think it should be implemented differently. By the way, uh, this motorcycle comes with a wireless key, which means if, that's why I'm turning it on and off easily without anything. But for the fuel tank, you have a key. And if you want to close your motorcycle's um, head, I don't know how it's called, then you're just moving it to the left, sinking, and that's it. It's closed. Okay, so let's move out of the motorcycle and let's talk about other stuff. So because it's really heated up, as I said, it's really hard to ride on it on a hot day. Um, yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to say about it. It's really, really hot, really hot. And the seat isn't, the seat position isn't easy. Forget all, all about it. But you know what? Let me start it up. Let me show you how motorcycle Harley, Harley motorcycle sounds. So here it is. It's really r loud. I know that from the, from the video you cannot really hear it, but basically, if you are going to ride this motorcycle on the highway, everybody are going to hear you. Are going to be here and seeing you because of this weird lamp. <laughs> Now, something little thing <laughs> that I really liked is once you close the motorcycle, give it a second, you see, now it's blinking, and now it's turned off. I like that, it's like you're having a car, <laughs> which basically you have almost the same size, and you probably have the same size for the engine. So, last thoughts. As I said, the sitting position is something that you have to get used to. If you want to own this kind of a motorcycle alone, you have to be in gym because it's really heavy and you have to know that if you are riding it you should find yourself a position where you're just using the left leg on the ground and not the right one because that's the whole area that's get heated up much more than the left area the price is hysteric it's really really high at least for this motorcycle where i'm from so yeah if you are going to own a Harley, this kind of Harley, you are going to feel a lot of things that you've never he felt with another motorcycles. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. And sorry, Harley 1250 owners. It's just that it wasn't my cup of tea. And yeah, if you have any questions, please do let me know. I'll be happy to answer you them in the comments and again thank you for watching so i'll see you in another video and yeah bye bye